everyone this is Preeti Garg and today I am going to teach you polynomials. Dear friends in my previous video I have told you about the relationship between zeros and coefficients of a quadratic polynomial. Now in this video I am going to tell you about relationship between zeros and coefficients of a cubic polynomial. Now cubic polynomial as you all are aware is a polynomial which is having the highest degree as 3 and the general form of that cubic polynomial is general form is ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d fine this is the general form of cubic polynomial now where a is the coefficient of x square b is the coefficient of x and x square c is the coefficient of x and d is the constant term let's see once again a the coefficient of x cube b the coefficient of x square c the coefficient of x and d is our constant term right now we have to verify the relationship between zeros and the coefficients just now we have seen the coefficients and now let us take the zeros also of a cubic polynomial. Let alpha, beta and gamma are the zeros of this cubic polynomial. So now here we have the relationship. If we need the sum of all the zeros, that means sum of alpha, beta and gamma, this is equals to minus b upon a. Minus b upon a. What is b? See from here, b is what? Coefficient of x square. So we can write it minus coefficient of x square. A is what? Coefficient of x cube. So we can write A as coefficient of x cube. So this is sum of the zeros. Now we have sum of product of two of the zeros. And it is given by C upon A. That is we can even write it as C is what from here to see? Coefficient of x. So coefficient of x upon coefficient of x cube. Fine. And now last we have product of the zeros. Alpha, beta and gamma. This is given by minus d upon a. And d is a constant term. So we can write minus constant term upon coefficient of x cube. Fine till here. Now let us take an example. Let px is a cubic polynomial as 2x cube plus x square minus 5x plus 2. And its zeros are minus 1 upon 2, 1 and minus 2. Okay? These are the three zeros. Alpha, let alpha is equals to 1 upon 2. Then beta is equals to 1 and gamma is equals to minus 2. Right? Alpha is 1 upon 2. Beta is 1. And gamma is minus 2. Now we have to verify the relationship between the zeros and the coefficients. Right? So first let us find the sum. Alpha plus beta plus gamma. This should be equals to minus b upon a. Or this should be equals to minus coefficient of x square upon coefficient of x cube. Now let us find alpha plus beta plus gamma. Alpha is 1 upon 2, beta is 1 and gamma is minus 2. So let us solve it. 1 upon 2 plus 1 minus 2. This becomes 1 upon 2 minus 1. That means minus 1 upon 2. This is the sum. Now let us verify it whether it is satisfying minus b upon a or minus coefficient of x square in this. So minus coefficient of x square. What is the coefficient of x square from here? 1. But we have to write minus 1 upon coefficient of x cube. What is the coefficient of x cube? 2. Here we have minus 1 upon 2. Here also we have minus 1 upon 2. That means this is equals to minus b upon a. Hence verified. Right? Similarly, we can see it for alpha into gamma into beta. We see it for product. Alpha, beta, gamma. This should be equals to 
minus d upon a. Alpha is 1 upon 2, beta is 1 and gamma is minus 2. How much will it be? 2 and 2 cancels, this becomes minus 1. And this side if we see minus d upon a, minus d, d is the constant term, so minus d will be minus 2. And what is a? 2, we write 2 upon 2. If we cancel this, this also becomes minus 1. So this also is minus 1, this also is minus 1. That means product also is verified. Here we have seen the verification of sum. Here we have seen the verification of product. Now let us see the verification for sum of product of two of the zeros. See, suppose we have alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha. This should be equals to coefficient of x upon coefficient of x cube. Now let us see alpha beta. Alpha beta means 1 by 2 into 1 plus beta gamma. Beta gamma that means 1 into minus 2 plus gamma into alpha. Gamma into alpha that means minus 2 into 1 upon 2. We solve it. This becomes 1 upon 2. This is minus 2. This cancels, it becomes minus 1. 1 upon 2, minus 3. Solve this. 1 minus 1, 2 is a, 2 is a 6. That means it becomes minus 5 upon 2. Here if we see coefficient of x, what is the coefficient of x? Minus 5. And what is the coefficient of x cube? 2. So here also we have minus 5 upon 2. And here also we have minus 5 upon 2. Hence, we have verified the relationship between the sum of product of two of its zeros. Fine. Let's see once again. See, this is a cubic polynomial. General form of cubic polynomial is ax cube plus bx plus cx plus d where a is the coefficient of x cube, b coefficient of x square, c coefficient of x and d is the constant term. Since it is a cubic polynomial, so it will always have three zeros and let those three zeros be alpha, beta and gamma. Now we have to verify the relationship between the zeros and the coefficients and it will be given by sum of zeros, product of zeros and sum of product of any two of its zeros, right? This is the theoretical part of it and this we have verified with an example. We have taken this cubic polynomial, then we take these other zeros of the cubic polynomial, these are given to us, then we have verified it for sum, for product and for sum of product of two of its zeros. Okay, I hope this is understood. Fine. Okay, that's all for today. We shall meet again in the next video. Till then, stay safe. Bye-bye.